All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing great. Hopefully Constantine isn't sitting over there slumped over dead. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna go talk to him now. I believe we're on the road to the end. It feels kind of close, maybe. I don't know how close, but you know, still. He seems to be doing well. Constantine? Constantine. My adorable cousin, I am always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were being continuously attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it, and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I've never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation, do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a Guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The Governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the Islanders, and yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardig Glenderman, a Beach Guardian. But it seemed just as sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the Guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps, but I am certain that there is more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, fair cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, fair cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? Guard, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You'd better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... peculiar recently. He sleeps very little. And goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed? Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. <laughs> and where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. What? Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen. I know this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went. But he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So if you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here. I have the key. 
take it. I hope you find his highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? All right, well, let's Normally, take a look. I would have said getting drunk at the tavern. But clearly that isn't the case. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Anon Millefrictiman had some truth to them. It let's rummage have. through his papers. We may find a clue. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Question uh, the exiled natives at... I, I can't pronounce that. Alright, but time to go fast travel. I think that was Vinbar's village? I don't know. I'm not sure. In we go. And out we go. It can't be easy to discover that your cousin has descended into madness. But we can't let him kill these people simply because he's afraid they might have seen him. Uh, excuse me, what? Okay. Let's at least save some lives. Wow, really? That was delayed? The trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixe. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixe. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different. Darker. She's talking about the crazy Donegad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No. We see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? She could hide in the old house. She would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't she? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent on all Manawi. Okay, uh, ask them why they live here. Why do you You're live out here? You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When I was young, I got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Minundanem. I thought he was, but I was wrong. And one day, I met the one I would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So, our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? Oh no, that's fine. That's understandable. Thank I'll you. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. Thanks for your hospitality. So where are we going over here? Up we go! Wait, where is it pointing me to? Oh, other way around. Other way around. Here. 
now we wait. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. If I see him, then he's not alone. No, he is not. So we gotta go back around. Jump down. I don't want to lose him. Follow him through here without too much of a problem. Passage for himself here. Let's follow him quick. Sort of a canyon, I don't up ahead it looks like. Supposed to follow him, not approach him, right? There's a camp over here. You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you are talking about. But what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. 
I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill her for anything in the world. Constantine. Okay. Come He's lost his mind. To think I saw this spoil. Right how to wield a weapon. Um. And now he's throwing feet. Oh. Shit. He's gone mad. It's the only explanation. Don't do it, sir, if necessary. So it's pretty weak. Or at least to the, to the gunshots. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, no. There we go. That's a little difficult. It's just a damaged sponge. Uh, ow! Damn it! Right through the chest! Okay. Oh no. Okay. Um. And armor ointment. That's it. There we go. And magic. Oh shit! Go, we got him. Fighting something this huge is just insane. before I can do anything. You saw him draw from me. 
Still my children, my guardians, pervert my force. Yes, but I don't understand. What he wants? Eternity, strength, power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself, but... And on meal, Frechtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet and find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Nords. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Zieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Burren. What an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us insane, but not here, on an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let's go. We need to put an end to all of this. Okay, so we can't go home. <laughs> we cannot go home. So... We'll use this camp. Let's see, who do we have to talk to to convince the knots? Okay, so form an alliance. So let, let's do the alliances first. Convince the natives, the knots. All right, let's talk to the natives first. Gotta talk to Dunkas. That lovely man. All right, where is he? Up here? Don't cuss my friend. What brings you here on Almanawi? I have a favor. I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkas. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick. And to cure him, Katasak used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devosh, Tire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance 
He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Anon Milfrichtemann warned me that Constantine was now targeting the Sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I intend to go and find the other factions and ask for their support. But I also need your people, because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages. Even amongst the Donegada. Enon Neil Plichtemann speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tifridi couldn't have a better High King. Excellent. Yeah, he, he, he's a smart dude. <laughs> Alright, so... Nod's coin guard the bridge into Leme. Let's deal with the two nations first. The bridge... Probably isn't gonna want to help me because they they don't like me not no more <laughs> I hope there's something we can at least do to convince them But they, they, uh, they, they don't like me. Governor? Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. And to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help. And to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hikmet, but also San Mateus and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different Guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the Guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then there was a ritual and his capture, and Constantine has fallen to madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone. And it now appears that he wants to take control of Tiafredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Desarde, which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. Go and search elsewhere. You have already demonstrated your contempt. I shall not risk the beard of a single man on your ranting. And be happy that I do not declare war on the congregation immediately. Your Excellency, 
You are committing a terrible mistake. The affair is closed. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Yeah, I sort of feared that would happen. Well, I guess there's a... I could load a save and go back and fix that, but we've already gone too far. We'll see. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go see if we can ask Tolemy about it. Oh, nope, no, no. The residents, there we go. Okay, Mother Cardinal. It's too bad we couldn't get like something on Governor Byrne too to force him to help. Sort of like we how we have dirt on Cornelia. <laughs> Quest of you. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? A little bit. Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures... Do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places thus gaining control over the Guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. But we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the Sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Okay, now... Oh, oh, there we go, that's the issue. Now we just need to grab the knots and the coin guard. Both are probably in New Serene, I don't know. I hope we don't have to... <laughs> don't have to, uh, you know, fight our way inside.
There we go. Kurt, I require your presence. Yep, both are in New Serene, I assume. Yep. All right, we're in. Try to get to the Coin Guard Tavern. Sieglinder. She's upstairs. Right here. There's the stairs. Uh, is it just forward? Yep. Hello, Commander. Lady Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the natives, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? Uh, no. No, thank you. I have to go. Goodbye. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency. Okay, and now down to the port. Just this way. Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the There's the uh, not captain. Uh, Admiral, that's her title. Jesus Christ. It just slipped my mind. Admiral, I require your assistance. Desarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, to Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You can. My men aren't really used to fighting on land, but they will be by your side. You have proven time and time again that we can trust you. Thank you, Admiral. May the winds be in your favor, Desarde. You'll need all the help you can get. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, that's 
four out of five. But how did I fail that? We. Oh, it's just okay. That's weird. Um, let's find his hideout since it's close by. It looks close by at least. Where is is up oh, there it is. I'm gonna gather this information before I go see Glendon. This way. Up here. We've got two men guarding it. The cave that Constantine Three. indicated in his notes shouldn't be very far. He has guards that are very loyal to him. There's a chance they'll be protecting his hideout. Oh, shit. Close to his Nestiri. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. We're just kicking his ass. This is bullying. This is illegal. This is straight bullying this man. Is that? It's probably not. Oh, wow. I'm not able to wear it, though, because I don't have enough endurance. It's okay. And this must be it. Okay. All right, back inside.
surprised to see Orin's healing doesn't pick everyone up. Heal yourself quickly! I'm wounded, I need help. Go. Okay. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They're sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. Oh, my poor Constantine. You have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he is threatening Enon Mir Frichtemann himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We will need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he has established. I don't know exactly how these things work. And unless you do, we're gonna need help. How about Dunkus? Mev scares me a little. <laughs> You're right. Let's go and find him. Okay, so we gotta ask Dunkus for help. We gotta go back to the residence, I think. Yep, because there's no real uh, way to get there. There's no camps nearby. remember killing a random coin guard out here. What's his body doing there? Because hmm. the beast didn't attack New Serene, so there was no issue. They would have just gotten straight in if they did. Because there's no security checkpoints or anything. Put, 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 the, put the weapon away, thank you. See Dunkas. Okay, up the hill a little bit, and let's talk to him. What brings you here on Almanawi? As I've told you before. My cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a 
power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoy King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is Oi who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tirfradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Oof. Thank you, Duncus. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you. Okay. Holy shit. Break the link to the sanctuary. Okay, so we got several sanctuaries to break. Or just two? Uh, sanctuary at however you say that, and the other one, which I think is close by, actually. Yeah, one's... No, one's there. That's another place, and... Okay. Nope, don't, don't attack the stone. Nope. Okay, so this one is closer. Shit, hold on. Okay, there we go. I'm no longer stuck. <laughs> This is gonna involve some fighting. Lovely, 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 tight, uh, not Titan, Guardian murdering fighting. Come 
Oh god. <laughs> Duncus' seed. Okay. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegada of Duncus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Okay. And uh, when we return, we'll kill the other guardian, go and inform uh, Glendon, and then probably assault Constantine's fortress. I don't know. We'll see. Or his attack, at least. But I uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow. If you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.